In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function. We're given the quadratic here g of x and asked a few questions about either the minimum or maximum. And the first question is to identify whether it has a minimum or maximum value. And since it is a quadratic, I know it'll either be of the u-shape variety or the upside down u-shape depending upon the leading coefficient. So the coefficient that is in front of the highest powered x. If that leading coefficient is positive, it'll have this shape going up on the left and right. So it would have a relative minimum at the bottom. And if that leading coefficient were to be negative, it would have this shape, meaning that it would have a relative maximum. So since our two here is positive, we'll have this situation where it has a minimum value. And we can move on to the second question. What is the function's minimum or maximum value? And to find that minimum or maximum value, we know that it happens at the vertex and that the vertex occurs at negative b over 2a. So for this quadratic, that vertex would occur at negative b, where b is the second coefficient, so negative 12 over 2 times a. And in this example, our a is the 2, that is the leading coefficient, so 2 times 2 in that denominator. We can now simplify. We have a negative 12 in the top, and 2 times 2 is 4 in the bottom. So a negative 3 is the x value for where the vertex occurs. To find the function's value, we'll need to plug this back in to g of x. So we'll be looking for g of negative 3. Here we are replacing the x's with negative 3. So we would have 2 times negative 3 squared plus 12 times negative 3 plus 14. From here we can simplify starting with our exponents. Negative 3 squared is 9. Then multiplication would give us 2 times 9 is 18. 12 times a minus 3, a minus 36, and plus 14. 18 minus 36 is a negative 18. Plus 14 gives us a minus 4. So we have found the function's minimum value. It's negative 4. Where does the function's minimum or maximum value occur? Would be at the coordinates for that vertex. And we've already found that that has the x value of negative 3. And when we plug that into the function, we got a y value of negative 4. So the minimum in this case occurs at negative 3, negative 4.